first and foremost, what attracted me was the clinical experience and the mentorship from the faculty from Dr. Eisenberg and Dr. Pratt. The clinical experience at the VA is very broad. There's a diverse case mix between robotic and laparoscopic cases. And then within that, inguinal hernia, ventral hernia, excisional hernias, peristomal hernias, spigalian hernias, um, lateral wall hernias, bariatrics, foregut, and then as well as benign colon. We do revision bariatrics. So sometimes we have patients with uh, complicated um, prior surgeries that need revisions. We do uh, abdominal wall and we're actually growing our abdominal wall program. With additional procedures such as robotic TARS, so transversus abdominis release for component separation and ETEPS, as well as Botox protocol. So this to me felt like we were at the cutting edge of both bariatrics as well as abdominal wall reconstruction. The Palo Alto VA Fellowship is a one-year clinical advanced GI minimally invasive surgery fellowship. It's designed to offer a broad experience in minimally invasive techniques. My goal for the fellows and Dr. Eisenberg's goal for the fellows is to have you feel comfortable as an independent operating surgeon who has significant laparoscopic and robotic skills. The uh, Palo Alto VA healthcare system is a flagship VA. It is a modern tertiary care center for multiple clinical specialties and 10 surgical subspecialties. We operate uh, usually four days a week. The, the operating room is running uh, and there are cases going. In addition, active participation in clinical research, presentation of results in national meetings, and preparation of manuscripts as first author is expected. For me, the VA Palo Alto really allows that protected time where at least one day per week, you have protected academic time to work on your research projects. Surgical education in particular is very important to me and is one area of my uh, career focus. And so the opportunity to be able to work in an academic setting with students and with residents was very important. The section of general surgery at the VA is part of the division of general surgery at Stanford School of Medicine. Stanford surgical residents, medical students, and PA students rotate through the, our service, and we attend Stanford Grand Rounds and m and conferences. It, it's really a uh, really good program for, um, for learning how to build skills and learning how to new, learn new operations. Uh, I do learn a new operation every year, and so you'll look at the process of how do you continue learning uh, after you leave the VA. There's a unique opportunity with the VA Palo Alto being located very close to, in Sunnyvale, to the headquarters of Intuitive and the Da Vinci Robot, that there's an opportunity to take additional robotic surgery courses. We also have uh, Dr. Curette who comes in, and uh, she is the medical director of Intuitive, and uh, she usually comes about once a month. You book the cases for her uh, and do the cases with her, and she's an incredible teacher. The VA fellow is really treated in all ways as an attending. So obviously there's the mentorship under Dr. Eisenberg under Pratt, and Dr. Pratt for the MIS cases where you are operating as a fellow. But outside of those cases, you have attending privileges. So the VA Palo Alto views you as an attending, you take attending call with backup. So you really have an opportunity, I feel for a lot more autonomy and growth in your career as an independent surgeon than many fellowships afford. We give you a broad training uh, we give you an opportunity to live in California. Uh, it's not a fellowship that is going to crush you or take you away from your family for a year. We really are about giving you the training that you need to go out and be uh, a better surgeon.